Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have another tutorial for you all and it is on this look. Right here. Right here. And it's actually a look I've been loving a lot lately. It's really quick, it's easy, it lasts all day. And a lot of the products that I have been using are a lot of drugstore products, which makes it really nice because it's inexpensive. You don't need a million dollars to have a beautiful, flawless look. Um, so if you want to see how I created this look, then keep watching. Bye, guys. All right, guys, we're starting with a clean face. And then we're going to go in with our Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I'm just dying this all over my face, trying to get a generous amount, and then I'm going to use my beauty blender actually to blend this into my skin. I actually really like this primer. It's really, really hydrating, which is going to play a really good with my foundation. And speaking of foundation, I am going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I do love this foundation, but I find that it can be extremely difficult to work with and the best way that I found to apply it is with a damp beauty blender. I am going to give myself a pretty generous coat of this foundation. I really love it because it stays all day. It is matte. Um, so if you have super dry skin, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're going to go with a very hydrating primer first, which is what I sort of did, um, and it works pretty well. Next I'm going in with my concealer just to cancel out the dark circles that I have under my eyes that are hereditary. So I'm using the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I absolutely love it. It's blendable, it's so lightweight, and it's so easy to work with. If you don't have it, I recommend you get it ASAP. And then to highlight my face, I'm actually using the MAC Mineralize Concealer. I really love it because it's lightweight and it's so blendable. And it just works perfect for my under eye area. So I'm going in the normal situations. And my wife, everyone, is deciding to... Yep, that's, that's her. That's, that's my wife. <laughs> Um, I'm going to blend this out with a dampened beauty, blend, bleh, bleh, beauty blender and I just took it to my high points of my cheek, my chin, and uh, in the center of my forehead. You have to try this concealer, especially if you're dry, you'll love it. Next I'm going in with my setting powder. This is my latest obsession. This is the Sasha Cosmetics setting powder in Buttercup. It's amazing if you like the Ben Nye banana powder I personally think this one is a little bit better because it is finer and it's half the price check it out then I'm gonna work on these brows of mine I have quite a bit of hair and it is coarse so it's kind of difficult so I am going to brush my hairs down so I can kind of get a guide for where I need to start filling in on the top portion of my brows. And I'm just going in with this MAC Eye Pencil. The color has rubbed off, so I'll link it down below. And I kind of just take small strokes and then just comb it through, add some color with a pencil, and then I comb it through again. And afterwards, I comb my eyebrows up and then I just fill the bottom portion with the same pencil.
Then I'm gonna just take a eye brush, eyebrow brush, and then I'm going to fill in the remainder of the gaps with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. I am loving the shade Chocolate at the moment, and I like how there's two colors. There's a deeper color for the tail and a lighter color, cutter, cutter? color for the centers of your brows. And then I'm taking this Kevy Baker Brow Pencil and I'm dancing and I'm working it um, just to kind of carve out my brows but in a more natural way than using some concealer. So I'm just going to blend this out and I'm probably going to take a beauty blender if I can remember correctly. Yes, that's it. Then I'm going to go in with this peachy color blush from the e.l.f. blush quad. There are two different quads. One is light and one is medium dark. And I, of course, got the darker one. But you guys, these blushes are so beautiful. They're so pigmented. Um, they go on beautifully. They wear all day. Um, so if you're in the market for some blushes, these are bomb. Then I'm going in with my NYC bronzer and I'm using a Morph E3 brush to apply this. I'm just kind of going over where I applied the blush. I just want to give myself a really bronze look. So I'm going to take that bronzer um, at my temples and then just at the perimeter of my forehead and basically my face. And then I'm going to just add some color to my nose. So I'm not really contouring. I haven't been contouring my face really that much um, recently. I've just been loving the bronze kind of softer, glowy look. Then I'm going in with the star of the show, my highlight. This one is the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in the shade Ballerina. And I'm using a MAC 135 brush. I've just been loving this brush lately. It's so soft and it's just beautiful. But this highlight, though, this highlight is amazing. I know that Gilded Honey is quite popular right now and that's the golden tone, but I'm really, really loving this rose color of Ballerina. It just really gives me life um, and I love it. You need to go get it. So, of course, the usual spots, the tip of my nose, the cupid's bow. I did take it around in the C shape above my eyebrows and then the center of my chin. And I'm just setting my brows, setting them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel so that they stay all day. And that rhymes. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Cream Eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Bad to Bronze. Okay, if you don't own this, you need this in your life. Like, you literally just need to put this on your lids of your eyes. And maybe if you want to take it above the crease, you can. It's gorgeous. You don't need anything else but this eyeshadow. I get so many compliments, guys. You... You need this in your life. You need it, you need it, you need it, you need it. Go and get it. Seriously. And then I'm just going to water, oh no, I'm just going to line the waterline. And I'm using a NARS eyeliner in the shade Bonaparte. Um, I really love this pencil. It is a little bit pricey, but it doesn't budge and it stays in my waterline forever. And then I realized I needed some mascara, so I just popped whatever mascara I could reach at first. And the lucky winner was Benefit Roller Lash. Um, a lot of people love this mascara. Uh, I can't say that it's my favorite, but um, it does the trick. Um, but yeah, you know, just give yourself some general coats of mascara. And then I realized that I forgot to highlight under my brow bone. So I took that same baked highlighter by Laura Geller and I made sure to add it there. 
Then I'm going to go in with my Lippy Liner by Colourpop and the color is French. It is a very orange, corally color. Um, it's beautiful and I've been really, really, really loving this color. Um, and then I'm going in with my Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Flower Child. These are the best lip glosses. The best, the best, the best best. You need to go check them out. I'm not even kidding. My favorite. And then finally I'm going to use a, a finishing spray by Pixie. This one is in the Glow Mist. And this is the finished look you guys. I hope that you love it and I hope that you try it for yourself and let me know in the description bar below what your favorite summer essentials are. Until next time guys. See you later. I'm 10. 